G'day folks, I'm down here at the scrapyard again. <laughs> I'm finding all sorts of goodies today. Look at these cylinders. Very badly corroded and damaged, but some of them might be alright. Yeah, that sounds terrible. It's full of water. <laughs> yeah, they've been sitting around in the weather for a while. Don't think they'll be much good. Actuator. So it's that. All made by Festo. Expensive shit. <laughs> He's a bit full of water too. Interesting. Damn, there's some good stuff out here today. I don't know what that is. There's number two. Oh, way station. It's a way bridge thing. Don't know what this gizmo was. <laughs> Got some massive bundles of control cable. Various control cabinets and things. Conveyor. Big gear motor. Baldor Industrial Motors DC. Wow, that's a big DC motor. Uh, 180 volts DC, 2 horsepower. It's fairly chunky. Oh, so much goodies. Yamato Data Way. Big transformer. It's a bit manky in here. <laughs> NEC D560 K21B. They're all the same. Power switching FETs. Sort of thing. Silicon controlled rectifiers. Damn. You yuck, full of mold and nasty. Nasty, nasty, nasty. Oh, if it wasn't so mouldy and nasty, I'd bring it home. But it's kind of evil in there. Really evil. Not worth it. It's a bit stainless thing. So you see coils, solenoids. Very fancy looking stainless stuff. What the hell is that? Oh my. Oh my indeed. The PLC by Mitsubishi. Giant capacitors. Big transformer. There's a vacuum reservoir in there. The 5 volt, 24 volt switch mode supply. There's another one down there. Wow. Contactors, breakers, more power supplies. Holy shit. Hmm. There's a pair of side cutters in here still. I think that means something. Might have to pick some bits. Pick some bits out. Assuming this door doesn't fall on me. Oh, I see it's come off the hinges. We're upside down. Hmm, more bits and pieces. The US Motors Variable Speed Reducer. It's got the expanding pulleys. It's a pull belt type, I believe. 
some kind of pump or other thing. Uh, big electric motor, various industrial process equipment, fill and seal machine, portion packaging limited, Ontario. Okay, so it's probably for filling little cans of or tubes of stuff before they go off to get thermo sealed, which would probably be on this side here. Half of it's missing, obviously. Lots of stainless. Oh. Another variable speed drive. That one hasn't worked in a long time. Yeah, motor drive. Tons of them. Conveyor belting. Yeah, I just spoke to the yard manager and he doesn't know much about this stuff. He said the big boss picked it up this morning. And uh, doesn't know if it's been weighed or not, so I'm gonna wait and I'll put my name on this thing. Hell, he can have the stainless and shit back. I just want what's in it. Although, actually, that's Alley. Looks like it anyway. I'd say it's plate alley or something. I don't know, maybe they've just welded something in there. It's thick, whatever it is. Yeah. What does it say on there? It's in Japanese. It's all in Japanese and Chinese and God knows what ease. Whatever. It's all old process machinery. There's another speed reducer or something down there. No, it's a pump. Oh, I see. Process pump. Another conveyor. I think this is what those round hold metal al aluminum plank things go on. The conveyor comes across here. Yeah, of course. It's got four holes, four for, one for each of these plungers. Hmm. Very interesting. I can see myself getting some good bits out of this stuff. Not going to go too nuts though, I've already got enough automotive or industrial electrical stuff. Oh, I did a little bit of picking around the yard. did find a little Peltier based dehumidifier which is kind of neat. And I picked this up from work, it's a um, pulled out solar controller. We get pretty much through it in the bin, but I decided to grab it for equipment autopsy. I believe it still works. We replaced the whole system. This one's made by Space Age Electronics Australia. And it's just very old. The whole system was replaced because it was damaged in a hailstorm, I believe. But yeah, it's a temperature differential switch and it's programmable, so you can set your cut in and cut out temperatures. The range is fairly limited, but yeah, they're not bad one thermistor there but the red one's missing so I have to find one of them to replace it first so yeah we'll have a look at that later I hope I can modify this into a CPU cooler a Peltier based um, dehumidifier anywho I'm uh, just resurrecting my computer chair the old one it's finally fallen to pieces so I'm gonna use a Toyota Corolla uh, front passenger seat that'll do instead <laughs> I want to pull these rails off but the whole thing's so well riveted together I think I can't without demolishing their side frames. So I'm just going to have to push them into a fixed position and just weld a base between these tabs. Yeah, I'm also going to take the trailer tomorrow and pick up a very large uh, Crompton three-phase motor. Uh, it's in pretty good condition. It's been rewound by a friend of mine a few years ago and it's uh, very, very old. The brass plate on it is actually in the same type and style as that one there. So the electric motor is probably as old as this old DC generator, which I also have to talk to the same friend about some insulation. He keeps forgetting to bring it to me. Um, yeah, electric motor guru who was going to supply me with some um, a big roll of just flat insulation you can cut into shapes and use to insulate the brush holders from the end bell housings. Um, yeah, that's what I'm waiting on for that one unfortunately. It's going to be free so I'd rather not pay a hundred dollars for a roll of insulation and I can get it for nothing but I've got to find some way of insulating the brush holders from these metal posts. And the rest of it I think is in that ammo can. I don't know, it's around somewhere. Either way, you get a big ass three phase motor which stands about that high and big daddy generator. Should be good. Thanks for watching.